Hello. In this video, I show you how to create a local repository for Proxmox VM data backups on Nikivo Backup and Replication. Storing backups on local storage ensures your data is available whenever needed without relying on an external source such as cloud storage or an internet connection. This can be useful in cases where you need to quickly access your backups without waiting for them to download. Nikivo Backup and Replication supports various backup repositories for storing backups and backup copies, including local storage, file shares, cloud storage, other S3 compatible platforms, tape, deduplication appliances and more. Before we begin, if you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section below. We will have our experts answer it for you right away. First, log into your Proxmox server and click on your Nikivo Backup and Replication instance. In my case, the solution is deployed in a Proxmox VM as a VMware virtual appliance. Here it is. In the hardware section, click Add and select Hard Disk from the drop-down menu. In the window that opens, choose the preferred bus slash device and the storage location and specify the disk size you want to allocate to your backup repository, for example, 600 GB. Click Add to create the new virtual hard disk. As you can see, the new disk appeared but has not yet been detected. If you haven't configured hot swappable drives, restart the VM so the operating system can detect the new disk. Navigate to shutdown in the top right corner and select reboot, then yes. The system is rebooting. The operating system can now detect the new disk. Now, open the Nikivo Virtual Appliance Console, click Manage Nikivo Services and select Onboard Repository Storage. As you can see, the appliance detects the 600GB disk we added to the VM. Press Enter and select Use this disk as backup storage, then press Enter again. This disk will now be used as storage by Nikivo Backup and Replication. Now, let's create a backup repository on this disk in Nikivo Backup and Replication. Open the Solution Web Interface and navigate to Settings. Repositories. Click the plus icon and select Create New Backup Repository. Under Type, select Local Folder and click Next. On the Name and Location tab of the wizard, do the following. Provide a name for the new backup repository and select the onboard transporter from the drop-down list. Specify the path to the local folder we just created. By default, this folder is located at slash op slash nikivo slash repository. Click Next to proceed to the Options tab. Under Storage Savings, you can choose to enable data size reduction. Click the Settings button for advanced settings. If you want to apply immutability to backups in this repository, keep the store backups in separate files option selected. Alternatively, if you want to exclude duplicate data blocks from backups, uncheck this option. You can also choose the compression level that will be used to reduce the data size in the repository. I'll leave the store backups in separate files option check for immutability and click apply. Finally, I will leave encryption unchecked because immutability is not supported for encrypted repositories. Click finish to create the backup repository. The onboard backup repository for Proxmox VM data backups has been created. And that concludes our how to video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also download a free trial version of Nikivo Backup and Replication using the link in the description and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.